Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. So I hope uh, everyone enjoy my video so far, especially uh, I hope you can get some of uh, my sharing lab practice and uh, understand more on uh, networking. So most of my lab previously we do on the GNS3 uh, simulator software and then uh, we have many many uh, different scenario on the lab practice okay so today with all as you can see uh, here uh, I have to I have to uh, Cisco switch okay so this two Cisco switch I bought from my friend previously he uh, sell it to me and I think uh, I can get this one for the real uh, network uh, Cisco switch and then we can practice together on the real uh, Cisco switch device okay so this video the purpose for this uh, network switch the real device I want to uh, have on the beginner that uh, they want to learn more on Cisco switch uh, with the beginning and then uh, especially for the uh, uh, junior that he want to uh, research more study more on the uh, network career okay uh, this I have uh, two Cisco switch one is layer 2 and one is uh, layer 3 I have uh, this USB console uh, USB com as well okay uh, this USB com um, I uh, connect with my laptop here so uh, this console cable uh, I connect together with this uh, USB com and then I can use my laptop to configure this switch but for my desktop here uh, I can use like that or I can use a uh, direct uh, console port because uh, my desktop very old uh, model and I have uh, this port so uh, I can use both option okay and let's take a look on this uh, layer 2 switch I have uh, okay here as you can see uh, this is uh, the ID the company okay uh, they have the set ID here so this this is the the model catalyst 2960 okay I have uh, this uh, 24 port what 24 port here and then this uh, uplink 2 port okay all uh, using uh, Ethernet okay and if we look at the back wow. <laughs> okay so we have the power AC power and this is the DC power and this is the uh, fan here inside and this is the console port that uh, we uh, first time configuration we need to connect console port here okay okay so this is layer 2 and uh, let me okay let me move to this one wow. a little bit heavy this uh, layer 3 Okay. okay layer 3 here I have uh, this uh, this is the model uh, catalyst 3753 okay and then uh, this is I have a uh, 24 port I don't have uplink for this series uh, anyway it is a layer 3 switch so uh, we can have 
more feature uh, than layer 2 we can do the routing we can do the VLAN we can do some uh, asset control list as well okay so 24 port and this is a gigabit port as well okay all 24 port and okay uh, here uh, stack this is stack port so uh, stack port console port this is fan inside this is AC power uh, sorry yeah AC power correct this is a DC power okay normally we use uh, this one okay so uh, for the stack cable actually I don't have uh, any experience for the stack this stack cable as well because uh, um, we have only one switch so we cannot do uh, stack uh, stack let me uh, touch down a little bit on the stack uh, if you have uh, two of this uh, Cisco uh, switch you can uh, connect with the stack and then combine it as one logical switch actually the hardware is two but in the software uh, uh, configuration the logical topology you can see only one switch okay that's the stack and then you can more uh, you can have more uh, like a switch switching capacity and other feature as well regarding to this stack okay so this is layer 3 a little bit heavy okay so for this two switch in the next video uh, we will start to uh, play around with the basic lab uh, configuration on the vlan on the basic uh, configure like a host name and some uh, routing function we can do uh, uh, layer 3 routing like uh, uh, inter VLAN routing and uh, uh, router on the stick as well okay so I hope uh, to see you with my next video and we will start uh, all this configuration with the real Cisco switch device together okay thank you